What's up guys, it is Diggs and today I'm bringing guys another Black Ops 2 commentary. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to rush on drone. Uh, surprisingly enough, I don't really like this map, uh, but it does come up in the rotation a lot. Um, when I mean a lot, I mean it gets voted for nearly every single time. But, you know, you can still rush on it, I suppose, um, but I just think it's a great map. Um, if you think of it's a good map, leave it in the comments uh, and say why you think it's a great map. But uh, I can pull out some fairly alright score lines on it uh, in this gameplay by 67 and 2 I think uh, when a ground war domination I think it was yeah it was a ground war domination um, where I can get like a lot of kills on ground war domination and uh, I'm just going to teaching you how to get like a high KD uh, you might not be able to bust out 67 kills you might be able to bust out 167 kills uh, I don't know but I'm just going to be teaching you how I play this map and I like, have like a pretty good knowledge on how to play this map so first of all when you're playing and you're spawning at sea uh, what you want to do at the start of your kill streak I said this in my how to get uh, high score streaks and how to get high kills in black ops 2 but what you want to do is go to B and I know it sounds like fairly odd but um, what I did at the start of this gameplay was I went to B at the start of my kill streak. I, like I captured C, went to B, captured uh, B, and I think I got a capture kill, uh, which altogether adds up to uh, four hundred and fifty points. And with hardline on, it gets like that's I think um, a thousand points for an orbital VSAT. So that got me almost halfway to my orbital VSAT. Um, so all I needed is really 5 kills and a 5 kill orbital visa isn't too hard to get especially on black ops 2 when you're using a silencer and then maybe you got ghost on and hairline maybe you're using park 1 greed uh, but when you're spawning on the side at sea and you've already captured the beach flag you have nothing else to do what you want to do is do what I'm doing now um, you want to rush up the right flank as I showed not at the start of the gameplay but after I showed the music in the intro what you want to do is run at the right flank and try to take out as many enemies as possible when you are there um, you know there can be uh, some enemies there but what you want to do is use all these as you can see in front of me kind of machines that go around and around as head glitch spots because they're all, always going to uh, spawn at A when you hold C and B so they're obviously always going to spawn at A if that's the only flag they hold so what you want to do is there's always going to be someone uh, where I am right now. Uh, so what you want to do is use these spots to your advantage as I am now. I'm kind of maneuvering my way around it. And um, up in this building you can get a lot of traffic. But you can also die uh, pretty easily because a lot of people with ARs or peacekeepers will come up here. And they'll um, you know, try to take you out. Well try to take other people out from the other building. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but that's what you want to do on... Um, when you're spawning at A and you want to do it when you have an SMG you want to do the exact same thing but switch the rolls around because you do not want to rush up the uh, right hand side because if you do then all that's going to do is leave a sniper an AR uh, a peacekeeper whatever that has a better not a better gun than you but a gun that can go longer range than you uh, say you now in this gameplay I had a vector with a suppressor on it and that's obviously not going to be a sniper at long range so when the place I'm shooting with my loads are now you want to stay away from that spot so so much I, I cannot tell you how much uh, that's I get killed in that spot but uh, that's the end of the gameplay guys if you did enjoy the video please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you all uh, next video and uh, bye